Welcome back to another episode of the Midway Region. We're still here in Omega Industrial Sector number two. We're actually hopefully going to finish this uh, area off today. Spent a little bit of time off camera doing the um, the research over in Intelligary Mesa. So now that we have everything approved, though, we should be able to um, put in our what well, right there our air scrubber crowns. <laughs> And I'm thinking, let's see here. We actually want to take both of these off. And they're going to become this. Oh, what are you unhappy about? Can't find work. Lots of jobs. I'm not sure what that's about. But we want to actually move the solar crowns over here, or at least two of them. And then I think we're. Oh, we need to go on cheetah speed here, too. And then I think we're going to replace these two. Yeah. I think we're going to replace these two with scrubbers. Because these guys aren't really upset. These guys are, and I think putting them here will fix that and help these guys be better too. At least that's my guess. Now with those built, do they have power yet? Okay, yes. With those built and powering the city, we can demolish these without any harm. It's this one. Sick. Sick. And same with the other one, except for these two that can't find work for some reason. But let's put on the air scrubber crown and see how this works. And we should have enough control net. Yeah, we have plenty of extra control net to be able to do both of these. And then we should check out our ground pollution, or our air pollution, actually. Here, we want this. Um, maybe it's not there. Where is our air pollution? Here? Matt, it's in here. <laughs> uh, when Matt, this one. In fact, from the look of it, it might make sense to actually put the solar crown back over here and move the um, this thing over here. I'm not sure. This should hopefully help start creating a, a clean spot. Should. I mean, between the two of them. But it's definitely not cleaning this up enough. So maybe what we have to do is put it on this one. How much power do we have extra right now? Alright, we have enough that if I demolish this, it won't be a big deal. Demolish that, and we'll demolish that. This will become the new one of these. 
And this will be an air scrubber. There it is. And we'll see if that maybe then we can clean the air around this guy. So another real problem comes from the fact that our air pollution is all generated down here, but that was kind of the point of the city. But then again, I, at the, when I designed that, I wasn't planning on having medium wealth in these towers at all. You know, really, in the end, maybe that's what we do, is we move the medium wealth and the commercial up here, so that everything blows away from it, and everybody be happy. But that's a lot of reconstruction of these towers, and I don't particularly feel like doing that. Alright, got that air scrubber on as well now. And this should be powering the city soon. We're totally fine on power anyway. So, now let's see what it looks like. Slightly better. I'm really just hoping that these guys won't be as unhealthy now. Really sick. Where's the germs map? Hmm. Alright, that looks like the what we're going to have to do then is move the whole thing. That sucks. <laughs> hey, Chody Wolf. Uh, the screen recorder that I use... Um, oh, it's the same one that I use for Twitch. It's um, Open Broadcaster. And you can... It's, so what I actually end up doing is I stream to Twitch and I have Twitch record it. And then I export the recording to YouTube. It's a simpler process. It sounds complex, but it's a much quicker process than um, doing it all myself, you know. Because I'm, I'm really not a video editor, and I don't want to take the time to do that. Okay, so this one needs... What's on the bottom level of this one? Oh, okay, we just started with the mall. Hey there, Mr. Play. I thought about go, uh, talking to you on Skype and continuing our other city that we were doing yesterday. Uh, yeah, yesterday. But uh, I took a look at the roads and, and it kind of gave me a headache, so I decided we'll do that another day. <laughs> Uh, I am actually in that region, Chody Wolf. Um, I just started a city yesterday with it, and uh, just started the road construction to, to make a really crazy three-way highway interchange. <laughs> okay, and then we're going to be replacing this one. So we're basically reconstructing our entire mega towers now. This this episode, and I think this time we're going to put the schools in the middle. So this gives us a chance to redo it. Uh, school, not safety. Education. And what do we have? Three of each of these. Is that what we end up having on this? Three. Yeah, because three is enough to, to, to power the city, you know. Or not power, but, you know, shop. And, sh and Shopify. <laughs> oh, yeah, Mr. Play, which mods did you get yesterday?
I think this one is actually fine. Park level here, apartment level, apartment level. So then let's actually make this a solar crown. And then we can start stripping one of these down. Oh yeah, you got the chain plopper? That's such a handy one. Couple abandoned buildings there. Probably arguing about not enough Omega when I totally know they have enough Omega. And then we're going to put our safety level on the end here. This needs another mall. This needs an apartment level. Oh, Chody, uh, after the stream, no, uh, on weeknights I generally don't have enough time to, to play more than about an hour a night. Um, just because I, you know, I got work and stuff in the morning, so. Apartment level. Now that we have the third mall level in, we start with apartment levels, yes. And I think we can... Yeah, we have enough power. Oh, not at the moment. That one didn't end up charging before it got dark, okay. Speaking of Omega, produce 6,200, almost 7,000, and almost 7,000. So we still have room that we can produce more. Kenny. Oh, not enough money. I forgot about money. <laughs> and here we can take out and pay off a couple of these bonds. I forgot I still had bonds. That way we can pay to finish off some of these towers here. Nice, Chody. Yeah, the DLC is good. Um, if you enjoy the regular game, the DLC pretty much just adds stuff to it, and you can choose to or not to play with stuff from the new, you know, from the DLC in a city. I, I like making non-future cities too. It's it's really fun. Now, we do park level and then two medium. I think that's what we'll do. 
or no, with our population situation, we have medium wealth outside of the towers now. Let's just put low wealth in the towers. So we'll just do a park. No, they don't need a park in this town. Yeah, let's do a park. Uh, sky Bridge. Sky Bridge. <laughs> Jody Wolf, that's <laughs> taking your last bond. I also like to live dangerously. <laughs> that's that's a good one. <laughs> I, I happen to know this city just makes money hand over fist now, so. It just costs a shit ton of money to redo mega towers like this. So now thinking about this, I probably didn't need to move these levels if I'm just making them low wealth. That's okay, I'll move the other side too to make it symmetrical. Oh wait, no, park, 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 park. Uh, park. So really, I actually shouldn't put a park on this level. I want more low wealth people. And we build and we build. <laughs> There we go. Now we do a couple of these. More of these. Yeah, so we're making a ton of money from Omega right now. And we can put in our mega tower bridges here. Uh, this one, sky bridge, whatever they're called. Curve. And then cross. And one more apartment level. <clears throat> I'm going to make sure that these malls always have enough people. And then this one is going to have a solar crown. Wait, how much does it cost? Oh, six grand. I barely can afford it right now. And this one I'm going to wait on because I'm not sure what I want to put for the solar or for the topper on these. But on this one, I'll probably have to wait a minute for money. This one's going to be the, uh, the billboard.
Uh, where are you here? Oh, you're a hundred grand. Okay. I don't seem to have much tr trouble moving trucks around the city, so I'm not sure why we're not getting Omega fast enough. We still have our traffic down here, but that's pretty... I mean, it's rather smooth. I was watching a, an old video of, I think it was Yuto's? Yeah, I think Yuto did the old, it's a long time ago, like, well, in SimCity terms, so, like, six months ago video. <laughs> um, like, before they even had the road update for, um, for doing bridges and tunnels. And he was saying he likes to give his traffic binary decisions, you know, either left or right here, left or right here, which is basically the idea of making three-way intersections. But I was kind of looking at this city and thinking that I actually did that for the most part. Um, except in these corners, there's four-way intersections, but I didn't really have a good way to do that. Well, I suppose I could just take this straight out over to here. I don't know. Um, in any event, yeah, so, you know, coming into the city, do you go straight or do you take a right? And then you hit here, do you take a left or do you take a right? And then, you know, you hit here, do you go straight or do you take a right? And... <laughs> Come on, almost there, 98,000. There we go. And then we'll make a ton of money off this tower. I think it'll also help to have the main entrance going on to a highway for the, you know, for the uh, mall levels. So hopefully they'll get a little bit more business that way. Another one without enough Omega. Bunch of complainers. That's what they are. Yeah, so this is basically giving me an extra thousand an hour from this. It should be giving me a little more, I would think, but... But then the tower ends up making a total of, like, five thousand an hour, and... Yeah. Doing good. So then I think we need to move this one. Well, not move, but replace the levels in. Because this is going to be the mall level on this side. Did I do the right yeah, education level? Education level. Okay. <laughs> Want to make sure I had the right things on the bottom over there. And with over half a million people in the city, I guess I can see why the traffic's a little jammed. <laughs> I 
Another mall. Yeah, there's just traffic everywhere. Only 33,000 taking the bus. Wow. I just would have thought a few more would take the bus. Well, those guys all like the mall level. <laughs> this is everybody trying to come in and go into one lane because they all want to go that way. Why? <laughs> why does everybody want to take a ride here? Because they all come out over here. Are they all going to the mega towers? Not really sure, it's just a little super busy. <laughs> you can see the line to the airport isn't whoops, there we go. Isn't really going anywhere either. <laughs> You can try to leave my city, but you're definitely not going to the airport. Water problem? How do you not have water? Yes, we should be pulling some from the region, but you should still be able to get enough. Weird. This one's on fire. <laughs> Was for a minute. Still a lot of traffic back up coming into the city, but it's dealing with it. Probably have enough money we can start doing this tower now. All the way to the bottom. And this is going to be a school. And this one needs more apartment levels. Oh, that one have to go all the way on the safety level floor? Man. Alright.
just adding on lots and lots of apartment levels here. <laughs> I'm gonna come live in the city. Watching the traffic some here too as I'm messing with apartment levels. Wish I could figure out how to encourage more people to ride the bus. I had, you know, lots of education. Now it's all messed up because I've demolished and re-added a bunch of my population, but I had, you know, four or five hats of education and, like, nobody was taking the bus, so... I don't know. What am I supposed to do with that? Backed up everywhere. It's like really backed up all the way into my city, or it was. And now traffic's just moving smooth. Hmm. Well, whatever, it mostly works. <laughs> Cut our criminals. <laughs> it's like the most annoying thing about the international airport. It's always a security incident. a little bit more money to add another level onto this mega tower. There we go. Let's check on our other services while we're looking here. Water pump says it's running dry. Meh. Sorta. Got it fairly well covered, though. I mean, like, we should be should be able to get uh, water from it for quite a while. Sewage is being treated nicely. And the way that the roads are set up here, too, it actually splits it up pretty good between the two. I mean, this one's got 187, and this one's got 194. And Call that fairly even. Oh, wait, park. Park. Totally fine on power, even though we're short one, sort of here, sort of. It's only 10 a.m., so it makes sense that we haven't collected our garbage yet. Should basically have one of these dumps basically, yeah, full at all times, and oops, the other one empty at pretty much all times. That's, that's how it's worked in other cities that I've had, so. Hello's. Another one? Oh no. So none of the houses are abandoning. None of the commercials are abandoning, which is good.
I really don't understand how we can't get enough Omega to these guys. We're producing a ton. I mean, I could even put in another Omega Factory, but that doesn't make sense. We should totally be able to cover this amount of industrial with this amount of Omega, you know, with three Omega Factories. Because then the factories are supposed to deliver it to the commercial, and the commercial delivers it to the people. At least that's the way it's supposed to work. I wonder if there's just traffic on these roads 24-7. Like I've never seen it without traffic on these at back roads. I think more people would take the bus. <laughs> Everybody's happy though. 80% happiness. I only got 42,000 people taking the bus now. That's good. More people. And you are getting one of these. Oh, time to upgrade City Hall. I think this is the first time I've ever upgraded City Hall fully. Either side is fine. Here. Yeah, see? First time I've ever gotten that one. City Hall fully upgraded. So there's 600,000 people in your city. Fuck. <laughs> That still says it's charging, but I think we're fine. Yeah, we're totally fine if we take it out. Because we need to redo this one now. Oh, I forgot. We need to do this too real quick. This thing. And then we'll take this one out. has to be education. So bad you can't just pick up and move the <laughs> mega towers. That'd be much more helpful. And the arduous task of waiting.
you know, finally almost over 50 grand on Omega. We've hit that once before, that's how we got the final upgrade, but kind of went down from there for a little while. We can probably redo this second one at the same time. Wait, how much power do we have? Okay, yes, we can. <laughs> I had to double check that first. And this bottom one becomes another safety level. Because then we have the safety levels. You know, it all, they all come out from here to do stuff. It's a technical term. Stuff. It means things. <laughs> Hello, Tommy Numbers. <laughs> Good to see you. Going then. Skybridge Station. I actually kind of like the way that this ended up. It, it's all like medium wealth in the middle here, and then it kind of peters off into low wealth or, around the edges. I don't know. It just it ends up matching the way that the city works with the, the big mega towers in the middle and stuff. I think it ended up looking kind of cool. Still wish that stuff would grow here. If it lets you zone there, like, why, don't, why can't I grow buildings there? But it lets me put a park there or something at least, so it's not just blank space. I wonder if it would help if I put more park and rides in. My my bus situation. I'm still thinking about my bus situation. What if I did park and rides like in these little spots? And here and here. Do I recognize you? Um, well, there's normally a Tommy with some numbers that comes in, says hello. His URL or his name is usually bright green like yours is, so I assume I'm recognizing you. <laughs> Level. And then with that Skybridge station on, we can complete almost all the rest of these. Save money for a minute. <laughs> Alright, some factories. 
I still don't understand why we can't get enough Omega around. Once I finish these towers, I'll sit here and I'll watch the traffic for a little bit. Because maybe it's a, maybe it really is a traffic problem. Oh, still not enough? Seriously? I think the city came out looking really interesting, though. I need more... <laughs> yeah, Rodriguez, because, you know, a half a million people definitely isn't enough. <laughs> Oh, this would say I, I need more people, but... <laughs> I'm actually surprisingly close on jobs. Medium wealth people I knew I was going to be short on anyway, and of course there's like no high wealth people in the city. You know, I could change that. I could put the uh, commuter airship thing over here. What are you yelling about? Nothing. Worker shortage. Oh. Right, we've mostly paid off our bonds. So I'll take out bonds to pay off the other bonds. So that I can then continue to build these. <laughs> and one more apartment level on the top. I'm still not sure if there's like there shouldn't be commuter like there's nobody commuting in. It says we have freight commuting in, which is absurd because we should be put, putting pushing freight out, you know. Oh, and tourists. Why do we have tourists? When did that happen? They don't even show up on here. The tourist thing must have just started happening. Oh, well, uh, Rodriguez, actually there's going to be high wealth all up this cliff. It's going to be medium and high wealth all in this area. It's going to look really cool. I have some good ideas. But in this city, no. Although, I am thinking about putting the airship in here, which would let high wealth people commute in a little bit easier. see and this one should be our fourth one of these even though honestly we have enough power do the mega towers bring tourists Tommy I didn't know that is it the the commercial here in the, in the mall or something that's bringing the tourists because I, I don't have tourism crowns these are just um, Advertising crowns. It's the billboards that bring the tourists. Huh. Alright. Cool. 
Well, then I am glad I moved my malls up to the beginning of the city, you know, up towards the front of the city. Help keep this back area, you know, tourists away from there some. I hadn't intended for this to be a tourist city, but I guess if there's going to be a few, there's going to be a few. Oh, shit. And I messed this up. Because this is supposed to be a park. Right? Park. Oh, okay. Well, interesting. Good to know that billboards bring tourists. I did not know that, so... It's alright. I think the whole city looks cool. And the fact that I don't have them facing the same way, I have different different signs facing out, so it kind of looks cool. You know, makes it look more interesting. Here we still have about seven thousand available jobs. All right, for medium wealth. I was just checking that out. Still not getting enough omega. And see now why are these guys producing less? Hey, I don't know. A lot of trains going to the train stations, though. That's good. 13,000, 14,000. All right. <laughs> yeah, Tommy, you learn stuff every day. You'd think that in 800 hours of this game, I'd have figured out that those billboards bring tourists, but nope, not yet. <laughs> Uh, drones. I do have drones. They are this one. See? See, a bunch of them just came out. Well, they did a minute ago. Uh, there. Wong. <laughs> Drone factory. Yay! And that's why we have the service levels over here. Or safety level, whatever they're called. Got one on either side. In my uh, my high wealth city, there's a drone backup, because like, the drones they don't they don't interact with regular traffic, but they create their own traffic. So there's all these drones trying to get out of the city, and they just pile up on each other. It's really funny. And this is just madness. Like, I really don't know how to make that better. <laughs> what happens if I do this? Uh, do it straight up from here. Not draw through. There's no place. Oh, is there? There's a bus stop. Does that help anything, or does that just make it worse? I'll try doing it over here, too. Oh, there's probably a frickin' bus stop here, too. Let's see if that helps anything. Made it worse? Yeah, probably.
what I may actually need to do is cut this in half and cut this in half, you know, like put a road that goes down the middle. Maybe. A lot of traffic. Hmm. Okay. Oh, those back roads? Yeah, I wanted it to be high density, um, Tommy. So, um, I, I knew it was going to be busy. I just didn't think it was going to be quite as busy as it is. Although 7 p.m., everyone's trying to get home. Oh! Duh, you guys are 100% right. That's what I did wrong here. This needs to be at least medium, if not low. And it all depends. I, I've had good luck with both. It just depends on what you're doing. Yeah, see, medium, they're already moving better. The only problem with low density is sometimes it takes a long time for them to get off the street. And we'll let it run for a little bit. Let the Sims figure themselves out. This one definitely needs to be medium. <laughs> yeah, thanks guys. <laughs> Sometimes I forget to, to do the things that I tell everybody else to do. Speaking of, we can do this side too. Even though this side doesn't seem to have nearly as much traffic issue. Again, don't understand. There's so many game things in this game that I'm just like, what? <laughs> like, why does it work this way in one place and completely the opposite way in another place when it's the exact same thing? Like right now, you can see all the traffic over here, and there's almost none over here. Traffic? No traffic. I don't know. Uh, we can put these things back in, though. And this one. Boom. It would be kind of cool to have them coming out, but they're going to cut off so much of the other ones. And, yeah, I'm not going to do that. Now it looks like we have everybody happy in all of our mega towers. So, what do we do with that? These back two for for crowns. Not even sure. You know, I could have put in more more power just to um, help power the other cities. Although they'll probably, I'll probably put a fusion plant in one of those, and then we'll, <laughs> game over. <laughs> you know, uh, I don't know. What do I want? You know what? We'll make these guys really cool, and because all of the air blows this way from the middle, it blows from the middle down past these towers. We'll put air scrubbers on these two, so they scrub the air going out of their city. I mean, not that it'll, I'm sure, not that it'll help much, but I can pretend, right? Pretending is good. Let's check this out here. So you see all the all the nasty air blows right past them. Well, this gives you a good view of the traffic through the buildings too. So let's see if that changes anything on the backside here once we get both of those 
Scrubber is going. Not particularly. <laughs> it didn't really didn't really help much of anything. A lot of people walk in, which is good, but Yeah, we're we're not cleaning up like any of this. <laughs> well, I tried. And I'll leave them because I think they look kind of cool. The big vortex over the top of them. But that's the end of this episode, and I believe we'll call that the end of Omega Industrial Sector Number Two. The vast majority of the city is working really well. It's got a lot of Omega, and a lot of Mega Towers, and a lot of people. Over 600,000 people. So, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. We're going to start our next episode in one of these side cities here. I haven't decided which one, but we're going to be doing some high wealth stuff. So, hope you've enjoyed my, uh, my show. And if you want to catch me live, you can follow me on Twitch. And uh, you'll be notified when I go live streaming. And if you want to watch what I do afterwards, or if you want to watch everything all together, I put it all up on YouTube as well. So, uh, you can subscribe to my channel there. And uh, can watch everything that I do. So uh, until next time, I hope you guys have had some fun.